Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali, if you guys are new. And today we got a very exciting furniture delivery. My desk is finally here. Let me move my Alani new. And the office is definitely unorganized right now. Just a lot of stuff randomly everywhere. But this is the desk. It is, it is stunning. It is gorgeous. It is heavy as shit. And I wouldn't even know because I did not get this up here. I paid for like the white glove service because I knew... I was not able to carry this up the stairs by myself or even just like with me and Ryan, I'd probably like end up crying. So this is what it looks like. And I actually got the same kind of material for our breakfast nook table, which should ship out sometime this month. I'm not really sure. It did say it would ship out early January, but I haven't really gotten any confirmation or whatever. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is like made out of just stone. It is just so stunning and this is what it looks like from the back which is nice because it looks good from all angles because some desks just have like a front and then the back is like supposed to go up against a wall so it looks like horrible on the other side but it is so cute i stole one of our dining chairs from downstairs just so i could sit at the table today because i really want to use it um because i have a lot of editing to do but i did buy a chair from target and i'll put a picture on the screen here. I'm so excited to get it. It's from the Threshold and Studio McGee collection, which I've always loved Studio McGee, so very, very hyped about that. And I also wanna buy the stool. It doesn't come with it. It's like a separate stool, but that's only available when the chair ships, which is also when the bathroom renovations start, which is next week. Yee! I'm so excited. Obviously, I'm gonna vlog it all for you guys. I'm not gonna be the one doing anything, so I'm just gonna give you guys like updates throughout the week. Once everything's in, like I won't be able to use it for like two or three weeks because the bathroom, at least the guest bathroom, is right behind my office. And my contractor was like, at least for demo day, it's gonna be very noisy. And like when we do the tile, it'll probably be noisy. And just like, you probably won't wanna be here when we're doing all this. And I was like, noted. So we will probably be working from coffee shops for the next like couple weeks or just going a lifetime working out and like using their co-working space. So that's the most recent home update. I was actually between this one and another, um, I can't remember if it's from CB2 or not, but this one was from like a random, I, I think it was like interior or something, uh, but the other CB2 desk, everyone voted on that one on my stories but it was a little bit smaller. It was gonna be able to come faster. So I think I ordered this like maybe around Black Friday. I can't remember, like maybe early November. Um, but I think it was worth the wait, to be honest. Like I really love this desk so much. I think the other one was a little bit too trendy for me and I really am trying to like invest in pieces that will be timeless and that I will love forever. So this is for sure an investment piece. But again, like I really hope I'm gonna have it forever. So very excited about that. Just cracked open my Alani new. I had my eggs for breakfast, my new breakfast fixation. I'm pretty sure I put it in the last vlog, um, but it's literally just like scrambled eggs with onions and this like sweet and sour sauce. It's like an Indian sauce, but it's just so good with the eggs. And I try to have a little bit of caffeine because obviously it helps me not nap throughout the day, which I haven't napped ever since I started working out, which is great because I feel like that's my biggest issue of working out in the morning. I just hit that midday slump like way harder than ever before. So this time around, thank God, I found my energy drink of choice. It really does not make me feel anxious compared to Celsius. That made me feel like I wanted to die. Um, but this morning I went to the gym with my friend Kiana and she took me through her whole workout routine. So my booty is getting sore. We did booty abs and just like other random things, but it's nice because um, she asked if I wanted to do like arms or you know, whatever we did today. And I was like, let's not do arms because that's the only thing I really know how to do on my own. So she taught me some new machines, which is always so intimidating. Going over to the, like the weight section, I'll go into the gym, I'll stay on the treadmill. And like, if I'm alone, I will literally just stay on the treadmill and knock over the weight section because it's just so intimidating. But anyways, I got a lot of editing to do. I'm trying to like not like sit on my blog footage because the more I sit on it and wait to edit, I feel like it's irrelevant and then I don't want to post it. But I'm like, this is like good content. Like I need to be posting this stuff. You guys are loving the vlogs, which makes me so, so happy. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and get to work. That's, that's very easily remedied. 
I forgot my SD card at home because I was editing that vlog. And don't mind the boxes in the back because we really need to take all this to the dump. We just went into the stone place and it made it so much more complicated than I thought. I was expecting to just like walk through and like see remnants with my own eyes, but they said that like it was all on forklifts and like that wasn't a possibility. So they had pictures online, which like half of them didn't even have pictures. And then the ones that had pictures were so gray and like I couldn't tell if it was just like the camera and the lighting or if it was actually gray and it didn't end up actually being gray. So I just don't even know. But I picked out a couple and she's gonna send me some quotes. So if it's not outrageous, we might go with a custom countertop, which will be really exciting. And I'm really hoping that it's not like crazy. Um, but I definitely tried to stick to quartz because I think that's what was gonna be more in my budget. But anyways, if not, we'll just stick to the white countertop. The other thing I thought about is that if we do do a custom, countertop we'll be able to choose the sink size and the one that was originally on the vanity or that came with it has huge sinks and I'm like that is so unnecessary because I would love to have like more countertop space and like I don't need a big sink like I don't know why I would need a big sink other than for dishes which I really do want to put in a farmhouse sink in the kitchen and I told my contractor that's doing the bathrooms like if the guy that's doing my custom countertop for the bathroom if he could just like really quickly like cut out a hole because I think I need someone to like actually cut something. We'll cut the ramble short, um, but we're gonna just pop into Sherwin-Williams to maybe see if about picking out a paint. I really wanna do lime wash in the bathrooms. The contractor didn't even know what it was, so we had to look it up on TikTok, but he said Sherwin-Williams should have it, so let's go check it out. All right, so the Sherwin-Williams we went to was a commercial sales place, so like they didn't have like all the color swatches, so we need to go to another one. And we just like thought we should go one other time because we didn't really have time. But I got a package that I've been waiting on. These heels. I've been seeing so many people like wear number one, just like chrome things in general, but like pointy toe chrome heels. I think they're so cute and it's a kitten heel, which is great because I just like honestly don't purchase many like shoes if they're over four inches anymore because I just know that comfort at the end of the day is the most important. So. If I'm gonna be wearing heels, they can't be too high. I got these on Amazon. They weren't on Prime when I purchased them, but I don't think they took like that long to ship. I thought they were gonna come like later this month. So I feel like they got here pretty early, but I'll go ahead and link them if you guys want to check them out. I need to take out the stuff from the other one and let me try them both on. I just walked upstairs to grab my SD card and it was like on my desk and my computer and I forgot that I got my desk this morning. So I was like very shocked when I walked in, but it just looks even more gorgeous. Here are the heels on. I feel like they're gonna look so good with like baggy jeans and just being able to dress them down a little bit. And I really don't have like any fun heels like this. So this will be cool for like a night out or something. I edited a majority of the vlog that needs to go up today, but still gotta put in some iPhone clips and just zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm about to head out to another proposal. I'm shooting another proposal within like, I guess the past two months. I've shot three, I think. Love is definitely in the air and I'm shooting at the same location that I shot just the last time, which was the Auditorium Shores dock. So it has like the awesome skyline in the back. And if you guys are ever interested in following along with my work, my Instagram is just at Sonali Productions and I shoot a lot of UT grads. If you're in the Austin area, like I do headshots, I do branding photo shoots, families, couples. I pretty much do everything, just not weddings because I don't like to work on the weekends if I don't have to. And then also I physically cannot like be standing for nine hours with this camera around my neck. I would be on the way home from weddings because I second shot a couple just to see what it was like. And I would be having like back spasms or like close to it. I don't really know if they were like true back spasms, but let me tell you, it did not feel great. So I will not be doing weddings probably ever. <laughs> um, but I'm proud of myself that I tried it because I feel like in college, I was like, oh, never do weddings. Like that's so stressful. It wasn't even like the stress of it all, especially because I was the second shooter and I, you know, was just like the sidekick getting all the extra shots. Packing up the camera bag, I probably know exactly what lens I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do my 35, because that's what I shot on last time. We set up shop right here on the stock. Today's weather is so nice. It is a little bit windy, but I think it'll be perfect.
It was a little windy, but I think we got some really cute photos and it was it was so sweet. Honestly, I feel like I haven't cried at a proposal in a while out of like the three I did. <laughs> and then she was crying so much and I was like, oh my God, I had tears in my eyes. But I think I'm just gonna watch the sunset while I'm here. Cause like, it's so pretty out and so nice out. I've just got to take advantage before the freeze. I think it's happening next week. So I accidentally wore my house slippers outside of the house. I mean, technically you could wear these anywhere, but they're usually only worn in my house. And now I got rocks up all in my feet, so super fun. Good morning, happy Friday. It is super, super windy out today. I actually almost had a headshot session, but then I saw like how windy it's gonna be. And I was like, trust me, you will wanna reschedule even though it's like a beautiful sunny day. It is so frustrating when there's wind when you're doing like a photo shoot, especially if you're a girl and she was. The hair never cooperates and it's just so frustrating. Even at the proposal last night, the wind was just like really not our friend with <laughs> the girl's hair, even though, you know, we got some cute photos. But anyways, if you had the choice to take photos on not a windy day, I would definitely recommend. And I forget that that's also a factor, especially during grad season. Rainy weather is one thing, but then when it's windy or like really, really humid outside, I'm like, trust me, girl, like let's reschedule because obviously I want their photos to be really good too. <laughs> um, but anyways, we are starting off the day at a little coffee shop in Mueller. I'm meeting my friend Nancy here and we were supposed to go on a walk around Mueller, but it was just so windy this morning. I literally thought I was gonna be blown away if I stepped outside my house. So I was like, I don't know if we should walk, but now I'm like, okay, it's not as bad as this morning. So maybe we'll get our coffee and walk. We'll see what she wants to do. Within the past two months, I've had two friends that are moving away, including Nancy, which is so sad because I, well, she just moved here like pretty much last December. So we really only like met up in January, I think. And she's just been such a good friend this year. And obviously I really did not like think she would move um, so soon. So I'm really, really sad about it. And my other really good friend, Mackenzie, moved back to Georgia. She's originally from Georgia. We didn't know each other then, but she also went to UGA and Ryan didn't know her either apparently. Um, but she moved back for like her job because they wanted her in that region. So it's just really sad to know that Austin is not everyone's forever and I don't even know if it's my forever to be honest I don't know what I want life could take me anywhere so I never want to say never but I also think it's so sad that it's very temporary for some people because it's it's really hard to make friends and like see them go so soon you know Oh no. <laughs> it's a little bit later, I got ready for the day, did a slick back hair because I want my hair to like last just one more day. I'm going to a workout class tomorrow, so I'll wash it then. But it is so windy outside that we had to like take our hammock down because <laughs> it was like twisting and twisting. Um, but Ryan is walking through the door with Chick-fil-A. What? What? Oh my God, Ryan. It's like stuck in death and it was like falling over and- Ryan. Like not enough. What the? It's a puppy. What? Got starving in this. Holy shit. What the fuck? It's okay, buddy. Oh my God, the nails. Holy crap. Yeah. Hi. I don't know if it's like a stray or- Oh. <laughs> It has a funny smile. Oh. Sophie literally hates when we bring creatures in the house other than her. And this is not this is not the first time this has happened. It's oh, like freezing out there. She's not gonna attack. She won't do that.
Oh my god, I see its ribs. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy crap, right? Holy crap. Oh my god. What do we do? Holy shit. Oh my god, I feel like it's a skeleton. Oh my god. Where'd you find her? So I was coming back from Chick-fil-A and uh, I pulled into like our, like we live on like this road. So this one goes out to the main road. And uh, I was driving over the speed bumps and it was just oh, like shit. stumbling across. Like it was like hitting uh -huh. the curb and falling over and like oh, I tried to get out and it like ran from me. It was like acting all skittish, you know? So I walked into a yard and it's like walking into like bushes with its head and stuff. So I just picked it up and I don't think it can see very well. Oh yeah. shit, so it's old. I think it has like white fur on its mouth, so it probably is old. That was a puppy. It's really sad if it's that old and skinny. We put her in the sun with a nice old blanket. Does that feel nice? It's so windy outside, so not a good day to be outside. Come here, Sophie. I'm sorry, Sophie. <laughs> you don't like being in the sister. It's okay, you need to help some people. You can get a treat if you want. How cute is this little treat jar I got on yeah. Amazon? I don't know. Turn the vlogs. Okay, you can have a treat. If you're gonna be nice to her. <laughs> what I was saying is that Ryan went to Chick-fil-A to get us some food and I got some grilled chicken nuggets and apparently one Chick-fil-A sauce is like more calories than all these nuggets, but I refuse to eat the nuggets without the sauce, so. What do you think? How does it taste? Do you want more food or do you think it that's enough for now. Oh, that's enough for now. <laughs> oh, Sophie, you're okay. We'll get you more food. If you share, you can always get more. Sophie's being nice and she's sharing her skim sweater. Um, I think we're gonna maybe keep it for like a day or two. Maybe let it just eat and drink as much as it wants without being around other dogs and like being all scared, you know? And then call. Um, Austin Pets Alive and see if they can, you know, help or what we should do with it. Sophie's also getting pretty old, so I feel bad bringing another dog in the house. I feel like she just really doesn't get along with dogs that well. Um, so I don't want her, the other dog, to feel kind of alienated either, but maybe a good foster family out there for it and take care of it. Ryan's watching the dog. I named it Rosie because I don't know why I have like this gut instinct to name every little creature that comes my way. You guys know Fendi. Fendi, we haven't seen in a while, so she hasn't come back to visit us. But we also were home for like Thanksgiving and Christmas, so she could have come back and we weren't here. I'm not really sure, but I miss seeing her face. If you guys don't know, that's like the cat that comes to visit sometimes. She won me over and I'm not even a cat person, but I got my desk chair just now, Target delivered, and I'm so excited to open it. Um, I wanna film a little TikTok while I do it too. Really hoping it doesn't require like any assembly. And then it just comes all in one piece, but I have no idea. Shout out to Ryan's mom for buying us these when we first moved in because these are very helpful. I've actually put them on the dining room table, the dining room chairs, and I'm gonna put them on this chair. I wasn't home when they did my desk. I really wish I put something under it to like slide it around because it's heavy. I need to figure that out when we do move it, but for now, we'll just put these on the chair. I was thinking about getting a roller chair, but I feel like it's just really distracting that I could like roll around and swivel around. So I just got like a static chair. I don't know what they call it. Just like a standstill chair. Houston, I think we have a problem. So dumb. <laughs> office and the dining room probably has like the worst lighting of all the areas in the house. Ryan's room actually has better lighting but it has a smaller closet and it's a smaller office so I was like whatever I'll just like film in other parts of the house but I really wanted the closet for just all my stuff like I just feel like I have more stuff than Ryan. So anyways, I think it looks so good. I feel so professional with this chair and the desk and everything. I feel like I need a cute little tray over here to like organize the planner and pens and all that stuff. All my dongles. I feel like I have so many of these like ugly little things. 
but overall I'm so happy with this new setup and I cannot wait to like actually work from my desk and not just like the couch or I don't I guess I've been working from the dining room table and I can't remember if I told you guys this but I also ordered the breakfast nook table probably around the same time I ordered this which was in November and they just told me that it's actually back ordered even longer so it's only gonna ship out in late February but it's fine because I didn't really want to rush buying chairs for the table and I have no idea what the vibe is that I want so now I can take my time looking for those update on Rosie I think she's in a food coma <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, good girl. Yeah, that's your name now. <laughs> that's your name. Rosie. She's been peeing a lot, so we're gonna put her in the bathroom where it's tiled so we don't ruin floors until we get back. The freeze is supposed to happen on Monday. Like now there's snow on the forecast, which shall be interesting because this will be our first freeze as homeowners. So like, Seriously, pray to God that everything will be okay for everyone and the power grid will not, I don't even know what it did the last time, but like it won't do what it did the last time because I think that's what everyone's worried about and just like the pipes freezing, but thank God we'll be home so we could like drip everything. I just saw something on Instagram that a lot of the HEBs are like fully wiped out and I'm terrified because we just ran out of like meat and stuff. So we definitely need to go grocery shopping before the weekend, before it gets like even crazier. We'll try to go to Costco and see what they have. Oh, stocked up. We don't need this much, you know? No, we do, we do. I forgot I was vlogging, but we're headed actually into Scote for our friend Jack's birthday dinner. This is the fit. Everything is rented. Except for the shoes, they're in longer, they're like the metallic heels that I just showed you guys the other day. So we're excited to eat. Saturday still have not taken care of these boxes I don't know when that will happen this morning I did a workout class I kicked my butt and that was actually a really hard one I think it was like bar fusion or something just like the smallest little movements that like you don't think will burn oh my god they burn so much I actually liked the running class better I feel like the workouts that are slower I just don't feel as productive even though I like burn like a shit ton of calories so anyways I do it again not my fave. <laughs> it was just really hard for me and I feel like anything that's really hard and that I'm not good at, I don't like. Brian is currently taking Rosie over to Awesome Pets Alive and trying to figure all that out. I don't know if I mentioned this, but on the Next Door Neighbor app slash like the Ring app, we get a lost dog or cat notification every single 30 minutes. Like it is insane. I don't know if it's just this neighborhood. Has it always been like this? Like do other people get these notifications all the time or is it just the area I live in? Like I'm shocked at how many, you know, lost dogs and cats there are. But on the way over there, he saw a picture of a lost dog poster and he faced me and he was like, this isn't her, right? And I was like, I really don't think so. Cause it was more like Chihuahua y looking. And I don't know, I feel like Rosie has a very distinct like puppy look, even though I don't think she's a puppy, like we think she's older. And so I'm taking Rosie to, um, I guess a shelter or somewhere, it's like a no-kill shelter, trying to get her some help, um, some food and her nails clipped and everything. And as I was taking her, I found this poster for a missing uh, Chihuahua. But when I drove by, I thought it was her. But this one said it's a boy and it's sick and needs medicine, so. Um, it's not her, but it's unfortunate. I'm really interested to see if she has like a chip in her because I don't know why, but Sophie doesn't have a chip in her. I don't know why we didn't do that. I mean, like she was my family dog, so it wasn't really my decision at the time. Right now I'm about to head out to Four Hands. It's like a home store. I think it's an outlet store. And me and my friend Kiana have been wanting to go for so long. So we're finally doing it today. And then I need to return some jeans at Aritzia. We'll probably just go to the domain, walk around and shop. Um, I think she's going to New York in a week. So she just wanted to like see if there's any cute stuff around. So that's what we're gonna do. I just had some rotisserie chicken. Costco rotisserie chicken is like, so good 
I dream about this rotisserie chicken, you guys. I actually don't know if I've had others other than Boston Market growing up, but like I can't remember getting like grocery store rotisserie chicken unless like my mom did. But like picking at it and eating it, oh my god, it's so flavorful, it's so good, and such an easy, like really quick snack because I didn't really have time to make myself anything. But I need to get on the road because I told her I'd be there at 1 15, so let's go. We're finally doing it, Kiana. How how long have we been saying we for, needed to go here? Uh, maybe four months. Yeah, because I guess it was starting when you bought your house. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're finally here. So <laughs> I'm already overwhelmed, there's so many cute things. Like, look at that couch. Holy crap. Like a dream Is that only so it's that 30, much? It's only 30% off that. You're joking. No. <sighs> oh my god, wow. It's Insane. Okay, I need a console table or like, you know that space near the TV downstairs? I need something to fill it, like a console table. Like that. I do like it. Ooh, these little tables. We're in a different store now called a dough, I think, right? Or something. I don't know. <laughs> you guys, look at these um, ladders. I had a vision of putting one in the bathrooms once they're done and like hanging towels on it. I feel like that would look cute. They have such fun little trinkets. Okay, for this, $53. Is it like, I feel like somebody can sell this for 100 something and people will buy it. Yeah, for sure. Look at this beautiful hutch. I found. I really want to put something like this in the dining room or somewhere in the house, and it's only 800, which is so expensive. But for this whole thing, like I feel like I have been finding it to be like thousand dollars minimum, probably like a thousand five hundred. I found an even better ladder. This one back here. It's a hundred dollars, but it's so pretty. I love the stain, and it's like big enough for an actual bath towel. Got it. I think this is my first decoration piece that I bought for the house because I feel like I've just been buying like just furniture, which I guess that's technically decor too, but like look how stunning. I'm so excited. I am pooped. I'm really feeling the after effects of that morning workout and just like walking around, not having like a break after that workout. I just need to like lay down for a good hour or two. We have an update, like a really, really good update. I literally bawled in the car and I will turn it over to Ryan to tell you guys the update. I took Rosie to Austin Pets Alive downtown. They said they can't take animals in legally, but to take her to Austin Animal Clinic. And I did that. So I went in there, it said intake was closed for like, you know, drop off animals. So I took her to a Mansa pet right next to it and got her nails clipped. And the girls were saying that she's so skinny that she can't even get like shots right now. And um, that she's in pretty bad shape. So I took her to, well I was gonna take her home, but I walked past the door and the lady came out as so I talked to her. And she said given her condition that they may be able to take her even though they're at capacity. So I, the guy, like the, uh, I guess vet came out and did like, kind of looked at her and was like, oh, come back Tuesday if you don't find the owner kind of thing. And I was like, I feel like it is in really bad shape, but I don't want to give it back to the owner. He'd been really skinny and like, didn't seem to get taken care of. And um, he was like, okay, fine, I will take it and came back out with a blanket and took it. And then I came home and ate <laughs> and my mom and I actually joined this. Um, Austin lost and found pets, you know? So my mom's the one who sent it to me and was like, I think this is near you at least. The location was actually on the road that I found her on. And uh, so I like, was like, looked at the picture and it was definitely her, but it's a lot younger picture. So I messaged her and she called me back and she was like crying. She was saying like, she got out while they were at work yesterday, the wind had blown their gate open, it was <gasps> really windy oh. and it wandered out. Oh and um, it's diabetic and it's lost its eyesight from the diabetes. And then she was like, I stopped giving it insulin because we were gonna put her down. And she was really scared that that's how she was gonna die is being out in the cold because it's gonna freeze today. So she was really worried. And she was like, I know she looks like she's really skinny, but it's because she hasn't had her insulin and we take good care of her, I swear. And I was like, yeah, I gave her a lot of food and she was all warm, I gave her a sweater and everything. So she was happy and really appreciative. So she's gonna go pick her up and uh, she'll be back home with her family. And Sophie does not care. Sophie? She said, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, we helped a dog. Yeah. And you're such a good girl for sharing your food and sharing your sweater. Yeah, you're a very good girl. <laughs> I know you didn't have a choice, yeah, but. You're a good girl. 
So now I named her Rosie, and then it, it was just a gut feeling, into you guys. Rosita. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, um, it, like I literally made a nickname <laughs> for her, <laughs> like within like, hours like not even twenty four hours. I already nicknamed her after I gave her a name. <laughs> um, but her real name ended up being Runty, like R U N T E E. So it was really close to Rosie. Yeah. And Sophie didn't think it was very cute. You don't like that name, Sophie. You said it was too close to your name, Sophie and Rosie. Ryan told me that in the car and I literally like <laughs> start crying. We're very glad that she could get home because it is kind of like, you know, not the best feeling like giving it to, even if it was a no, it was a no kill shelter, right? Yeah. yeah. But anyways, we'll always remember Rosie or Runty. Mm -hmm.